you guys, it's bundle week. Can you believe it? And if you're like, what is this bundle week that you speak of? This year it's, it's called a name that resonates more with me, which is the vegan health bundle. It's been called the vegan weight loss and health bundle. And while I am releasing weight, as we all know, it just, I don't know, maybe I'm like a five-year-old on the inside. Don't tell me what to do. But, <laughs> right, Vicky, Vicky knows me. And I, if you guys don't know Vicky, and for the bundle lives, because I'm doing so many, we're not having the names as we're up in here. So what you need to do is down below on YouTube, there's blah, blah. It probably says, buy the bundle, dot, dot, dot. Click the dot, dot, dot. For Vicky. For everybody else, it's gonna give you information on how you can follow them, become part of their email list, because while the bundle is, sale is about a couple of things to me, it's about um, all this great stuff you can get for sale, because you know I'm a big thrifter, so it's over $8,000 worth of stuff. I actually added in an extra bundle to try and help boost it over. And so there's that, and you get all these goodies that you get to play with all year. You have a whole year to download them. It's only $49, so I'll tell you that. So you're getting a lot of stuff. The amount of things that I have in the bundle alone is $200. Vicki has two books. So literally, if you use two, two $20 books and a course, or three books, or one $49 course, you're, you're already ahead of the game. So Vicki, um, tell us a little bit about you. Oh, and before somebody asks, I know that it's kind of lit out. These are Southern style grits. So I've got some, and grits, the difference between grits and polenta, those you're like, ooh, grits, do you eat polenta? Polenta is yellow grits. <laughs> Southern grits are usually white grits. And I cooked a cup of them with four cups of water in the slow cooker overnight and had magic breakfast that I'm gonna eat while um, we're cooking along with Vicki. Vicki, what did you eat this morning? Or have you eaten this morning? <laughs> normally I would say yes, <laughs> Kathy, and hello and hello to everyone. I normally would have had breakfast by now, but I've been just rushing around kind of like a hummingbird, trying to kind of put a bunch of things together that are part of um, the, what I'll be involved with today and the next few days with Bundle Week. And so I'm super excited about that. All I've had today so far is coffee with soy milk. So and oh, after you and I chat a little bit, I'm going to grab a quick Ezekiel piece of toast or two and put some tofu scramble on it that I just made yesterday for um, to have ready for the week ahead. So. That's what's oh. planned, but not yet. <laughs> I love that. And I think it's okay because with, and Vicki, you know this already, with my audience, I'm really transparent. So like normal people don't eat when they're doing lives, but I am <laughs> anything but normal. But also you don't want to see me cranky and I'm doing 30 <laughs> lives this week. So we need to feed, feed the beast. Um, someone said, what is grits? Grits are just coarsely ground corn. And actually, many people don't know, but grits are McDougal starch solution compliant. And, um, and all that's in here, I put a little bit of soy milk in and salt and pepper. If you don't use salt, um, my favorite non-flavored blend is one tablespoon onion powder, one tablespoon garlic powder, one teaspoon ground celery seed mixed together and used like salt. You're going to hear that 8,000 times this week. <laughs> that's, such, that's such a great breakfast. I'm, and I'm a McDougaler, as you know. I'm, I'm Starch Solution certified and I'm all in. And basically, having a bowl of grits is like comfort food to the max. It's so satisfying. It's like a bowl of mashed potatoes. It's so good. So I love that you're doing that. That's awesome. And so we're getting a few comments to um, Angela from Boomer and Beyond, who is delightful. You guys know I share some of her stuff. She's an exercise guru, and she said that she adores us. I feel like I love Angela. Thank you for joining us, Angela. It's so nice to have you this morning. And Marilyn um, says the same thing. Two of my favorite people together. I'm so excited about the bundle. Marin said, what are grits? And grits are just coarsely ground corn. 
and that you cook as you would any other breakfast cereal. Like um, the northerners in the United States eat cream of wheat, the southerners eat grits, and it's really kind of a similar thing. Yeah, white polenta. Oh, and uh, Angela says that you were busy yesterday. Um, Vicki, what were you doing? Because she said Vicki was. She well, Angela and I had an opportunity earlier, this was two days ago, if I'm getting my days straight, but she and I were on uh, another show, Be Green with Amy, having a chance to share our, our exercise <clears throat> um, strengthen and nourish program that we're, we've been working on together. And she's such a joy to work with. So it's so, I'm so honored to be part of that with her. But yet yesterday I was preparing for today to work with you, Kathy, getting ready to prepare some cookies live with everyone and launch the bundle. And so, yeah, lots of, lots of excitement in the air for sure. And I think that what we should do is I'm going to put you on screen by yourself. So, and I'm going to have you tell about yourself because I don't know about you, but when I get introduced sometimes, like you, they're like, send me your bio. So you send the bio and then they read your bio and you're like, I didn't know you were going to read it. So, because I feel that way, because I'm always like, no, that's way too much. I like to have people yeah. introduce themselves, tell everybody where they can find you, tell them about your other books and things that you have, as well as what's in the bundle from you and maybe any favorites you might have. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity, Kathy. I'm so, so happy to be with you. Um, I'm Vicki Brett Gock, and I am a recipe blogger at Ann Arbor Vegan Kitchen. Dot com and you can find me there and connect with me through Ann Arbor Vegan Kitchen to all kinds of everywhere else I am so on Instagram as a2 vegan kitchen and on Facebook as Ann Arbor Vegan Kitchen and on um, Pinterest and I actually have a new YouTube channel which I hope you'll take a peek at as well I've just started to include a playlist and some shorts and I'm also um, the author of a new cookbook called The Plant-Based for Life Cookbook, which is available through my website or on Amazon. And um, I, what I do most of the time when I'm not having a chance to be live is um, I am a cooking instructor, plant-based cooking instructor. I am a master vegan lifestyle coach. So I work with clients across the country trying to transition to a plant-based diet and I help them overcome their obstacles and figure out where they need to, you know, do some work. And we, I'm their accountability partner as we work through whatever those issues are to help them become, uh, go from where they want to go, be right now to where they want to go in the future. And um, I'm so, I'm so excited. So that's what I do. Coach, teach, create recipes. And you can connect with me on AnnArborVeganKitchen.com. And what I contributed to the bundle today, Kathy's holding in her hands, which is here, my feel both great here. desserts. See, it's look. my feel great desserts cookbook, <laughs> and it's over eighty pages of recipes of, of um, I think it's thirty four recipes, each one with a full color page um, of a uh, photograph that I took. I took my own photographs, and um, it's a collection of easy plant based dessert recipes that will have you feeling really great. So that's why I said feel great, not just good. Recipes that are easy to make. There are no fancy instructions and no fancy um, ingredients. And um, I'm really excited to launch it within this bundle. I've been working on this for many months actually. And so I'm excited to share this with you right now. But all of the recipes in here, as Kathy knows about me, I'm oil-free and sugar-free. And there is a little bit of salt in a couple of the recipes, a dash, but it's always optional if you're all the way to SOS free. I'm just SO free. Um, but you can always leave out the salt. And um, so that's what I've contributed. I'm very, very proud of this book and so excited to share this book. And I also worked with another two collaborators that, that we had a lot of fun preparing this book, which is called Scrumptious plant-based burgers and more. Mm. So we've got another contribution and it's, we call it and more because there's all kinds of burgers of just a really diverse selection of burgers from three of us, as well as side dishes. And so we created this ebook and it goes along with a, a class that we 
did last spring together that we recorded. So we're sharing a burger class where we teach people how to make all kinds of fun ah. plant-based burgers and side dishes to go with it. And so you get the ebook, ebook and you get the video class that you do. That's you awesome. Do. So I can cook along with you if I want to. You can cook along with us. And then we created an ebook afterwards of all the recipes plus more. So it's even more that's, than is in the class. And so actually this, just the class and the book that is being sold after the bundle for $59. And my my book will be 25 So just my stuff's $84. So the bundle, $49, pretty great deal. And and it's true. And so I want to mention a couple things and then we'll, I'll let you get started because um, I'm excited. I'm, the only thing I'm sad about is you're not giving me a cookie. So why you're not <laughs> FedEx to my door, I don't understand. But, <laughs> but I love you enough that I can get through this because like they, they sounds so good. So a couple of things that I want to mention that, ha that people talk about every year is like there is, there's like over 150 things in the bundle. Yeah. You pick the things you want to work on right now, and that's that. I am thinking about making a group in my private heartbeat group that's free, where everybody can talk about the bundle. I'm waiting to get feedback from you guys, so I'm going to be looking for that. And if I do, then you guys can work through some of these things. You could cook, go through the class together and do some things like that. Um, but you might find that what you need right now in March 1st, brand new month, right? is different than what you need to learn about in November. You still have access to the bundle. You have a year to download the things. So just get the things that you want to learn about now. Maybe that's one course and two eBooks or five courses and no eBooks. So know that and you can still download and register for all the things within a year and then you can access them at any time. But you must download and or like, so I have some courses in, you have to go and register for the course before the year is up. The other thing that I, I find is kind of a resistance. People are like, well, I don't like eBooks. I like things that I can hold. And I am trying to train all of you that you like saving money more than you like the idea of me printing a hardcover book for you. Because then a book that I could sell you for $16.99 is gonna be $49. And it's, but what you can do with an ebook, and this is what we did with the Ninja Creamy ebook too, is so Vicki did it a little differently. So we'll tell you two places. So see there's this clear piece of plastic. And then this is a pretty good piece of plastic too. So these are plastic and spiral bound at Staples. It costs like five bucks ish, right? Depending on where you are. So the way to get the cheapest one, which is how I did it, is you print two sided the PDFs out on your home printer or your work printer. I'm not here to judge you. Maybe. <laughs> But I am here to hint you, <laughs> Cheryl did print out some on her work computer. Um, and it's better if, if you can get it printed on laser, because if not, if, if it's an inkjet and you get it wet, you just have to be very protective of it. And then we took the papers that we already printed, and actually Cheryl's going to go back and pick up some more books that we printed out. And then I think she got like five or six for like $27. And how did you do yours, Vicki? So I do the same thing, Kathy, normally, and that's what I've done with some of my favorites from past year bundles that I have um, wanted to save in hard copy form because I'm kind of old fashioned. I like to have paper also be for my favorites because I can make notes on them. And I use my own books all year long because they're the recipes that I mm -hmm. cook in my own kitchen. So I went to a little bit more trouble with this particular one um, as I was kind of creating this and I made it, um, I ordered it through Staples so I could select a little bit harder copy, like heavier stock. So I ordered it through Staples and then they shipped it to me, but I have done oh. the exact same thing that, um, Kathy, and it costs a little more that way. And I'm not recommending that, but for me, it was user friendly to be able to show online and make notes and kind of have my working copy. But it's a great but option same. for people who don't yeah. either don't have a good printer. Like what's yeah. funny is actually um, the pa her paper at work is not as nice. We we ran out during the pandemic and we only had fancy paper left. So now when I print just stupid things for my classes, like to make notes on, it's on fancy paper. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, but I, I, I had that too. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. And so just know you can do that. Just check the price because it is not going to be five dollars. And then oftentimes when I looked at about shipping it out. I think it was going to be like 30 bucks or something at one point. Yeah. So just be mindful. If you don't yeah. have time, you don't have printer, that may be worth it to you. If you're right. cheap like I am, you might want to just print it at home. Right. That's and that's what I normally do as well. And that's what I do for most of my ebooks. But it's just for the one that I was kind of working on and using as a a working copy and I kind of wanted to make sure that it was a little more durable for my needs but <laughs> normally that's exactly what I do is I print it on my own color printer and even if you can't do two-sided you can take it in and I've had them just do spiral binding in front of you like they'll do it even in my staples often if they are able to while you wait for yes that's what they something. did that's what they did yeah. for Cheryl this morning because she went into work yesterday so we couldn't get we yeah. decided to try it's amazing and um Angela says, Staples is excellent for printing prices. I redesigned my business cards with them. And then Apple says, for the bundle, I have a bundles USB stick for all the files. These bundles are an awesome deal, but like that way you can keep everything together. And I, I love that idea and I hadn't thought about it because that way if you switch your computer or your iPad or your this, then it's still there. You can also back things up like on a Google Drive or Dropbox, they, they have free space usually available. So there's, that's all the things I want to tell you. Can you think of anything, any other questions that have, well, oh. I just want to say, I agree with all of that, Kathy, and the, the what I do also, and I'm a little, I, I won't go to all the way to say digitally challenged because I, I just like things simple. I downloaded the bundle onto a thumb drive just so I could know I would always have it no matter what. So then you don't have to worry about it. You can get it for a year. Now I've got it forever. Now I have it on my computer too, but then what I do over time, there's no rush, is I might you know, pull a few favorites that I want to use. Maybe I'll print them. Maybe I'll just open them and kind of scroll through. But what I love about putting it on a thumb drive is now it's yours forever. You can always mm -hmm. have it. You can always access it. And I know that a lot of people, like you were saying, do say that, you know, well, I'm not sure I can use 150 things. I don't, I only want a few of them. Well, that's the lovely thing about a thumb drive. Mm -hmm. It's so tiny. You've got it all. And then, of course, you can get rid of it if you don't want all of it. But it's all there in case you do. And then you just use one or two as you are choosing to, you know, you could look at one a week or three a week, you know, forever. And you just can have, you'll discover which things are for you right now. And I think you made such a good point, Kathy, when you said what you might want on March 1st might be different than November. You know, we've got, there. the bundle includes things like holiday, you know, recipes. I think it's um, Nutmeg Notebooks, Tammy Tammy Kramer's book. Is that correct? Or am I mixing that up with wellness? I, I, anyway, I, there's so I much. am so it's not so sure. Cool. I don't have a cheat sheet for that because like you guys, we couldn't release the link till 10 a.m., which is when we went live. So like we've been doing all the different things like as we're talking to you a little bit too. And for anyone who's coming in, the bundle, you can buy the bundle link you can go and look in the notes like where you're going to go and look about all the stuff with Vicki. So down below on YouTube, there's dot, dot, dot. Click that. If you're on Facebook, I don't think I see anyone on Facebook right now, but it's all in the, the post description as well. Oh, actually, it's not. I will be doing that while um, that's the thing I have not done yet. So if you're on Facebook, I'll be bringing that over while Vicki is baking. And let's see what... Marilyn has her bundle saved separately in Google Drive. Um, Anne is asking how many of the items in the bundle are time sensitive. So if you mean time sensitive as in when can you sign up for them if it's a course. So what happens, I use, this is the first year I've put an ebook in and we put Thriving on Starch, which has not been spiral bound yet, or I would show you later this afternoon. <clears throat> and so all the ebooks you can just download. For the courses, what you do is you download and it's a little PDF and it says click here to get the class. So I've got two PDFs like that in mind. One's for the balsamic class that I originally added. Then I added a whole other bundle of classes. So 
in my case, it could vary, but usually you go to the course platform, you sign up, there's a coupon code associated with that link that gives it to you for free. Go ahead and just sign up, but you have, you can do that till next year until February 28th, right? Because it was 29th yesterday, this whole leap thing and translating from Eastern Standard Time to Pacific Standard Time is, I feel like my brain is tired, I don't know. <laughs> um, so really in time sensitive within a year, that's your time sensitive thing. Yeah, and uh, Marilyn was saying Mary's Mini was in the last year's bundle and um, Dr. McDougall does have some stuff. So if you click on that link, literally you can go and you can see all of the stuff. There's over 151 things. Don't worry, we're also gonna go through some of that together today or tomorrow. I'll show you some of the different things too if you're kind of don't wanna go. Um, oh, Apple, if you wouldn't mind taking that link down, it. So what happens is it is an affiliate link. So if you go directly to the ultimateweightlossbundle.com, I do not get an affiliate um, post for that. So I'll put the, the full link in there because I do get a percentage. So just so you know, be transparent. Everyone who's in the bundle does. Whoever you buy the bundle from gets a percentage of the sales. Can you think of anything else I missed? If not, I will leave you alone and let you cook. <laughs> no, I think you covered it all. Um, and you know, you mentioned Dr. McDougall, and that is just an, an additional plus to this bundle because he's releasing a new mini course on gut health in Ooh. this bundle. So it's very, very, you know, just over the top, great stuff. So, well, I'm so excited to share one of the recipes with you that is part of my Feel Great Desserts book, and it's called peanut butter and jelly oatmeal cookies. And it's super easy. There's just, let's see, one, two, three, eight, eight ingredients counting baking soda and baking powder. So super, super easy. And so what we're gonna just do is take three bananas, nice ripe bananas, and we're gonna start that in a bowl. You don't even need a mixer for this. It's just all one bowl. And then we're going to, um, Add to it just a couple of ingredients, stir it all together, and make some magic. And what I like about these is that I always seem to have some ripe bananas. I always tend to buy, I like to have bananas at all times because there's so many ways you can use them, you know, fresh as a snack or eating, um, you know, you're putting it on your oatmeal in the morning. But I'm just going to mash these with a potato masher and get them started. And this is just a nice thing to do with ripe bananas because in just a few minutes, you've got a lovely dessert. In fact, it's so healthy, you could even eat a few of these for breakfast. And they also freeze really well. And that's another thing I like to do as a treat to myself. And I will also credit Kathy, who's enjoying her grits. We're doing some self-care because we need to take care of ourselves because it's up to us. We're the only ones that can do it. So it's nice to give yourself a little treat. It's nice to take care of yourself with good, healthy choices. It's nice to have something in the freezer for when you know you might want something later on. So I've just got some mashed bananas, nothing fancy, a bowl full of mashed bananas. And now I'm adding some oats to it. Two cups and, of oats. And they're just rolled oats, right? It's just rolled oats, plain old rolled oats. You could probably I love use. them. They're so cheap. They're so I, evidently, cheap. Evidently, oh. I'm all about cheap today. Sorry, y'all. I'm <laughs> frugal Kathy is I, in I the think house. That resonates with all of us. <laughs> and now I'm adding just some kind of fruit sweetened jam. And so that's our that's our jelly. I like to make sure there's no sugar added. It's just sweetened with fruit. And I have a blueberry flavor today. And you could use strawberry, Ooh. grape, cherry, any kind you want. And today I'm using a little bit extra because why not? It's up to us what we do, right? Putting in a little vanilla. I'm putting in some baking powder. My recipe calls for raisins as well, but my kids don't like raisins. So today I'm leaving the raisins out and I'm adding a little extra jelly instead. They both kind of do the same thing which is to just add a little sweetener. 
I and love that. You know, Cheryl does. Cheryl won't eat raisins either. She, and you know the thing when I used to write posts and stuff, everyone thought Cheryl was my like ten year old daughter, and not my <laughs> fifty some. Picky. Picky <laughs> yeah. <eater. laughs> yep, I get it. You know, I I think that we have all got our favorites. We all have things we like and we don't like, and it's just like that's very fair. We're all allowed to have our preferences. So usually when I make the, this recipe, because now I'm just stirring together the bananas, oats, jelly, peanut butter, vanilla, baking powder, and baking soda. And what I'm doing is, this was three bananas, two cups of oats, um, normally about a quarter cup of jam plus two tablespoons. Today I added a half a cup instead so quite a bit extra instead of the quarter cup of raisins so instead of the quarter cup raisins i added a quarter cup extra jelly and i have to tell you um, this is going to be really really good so you can add raisins you can add chocolate chips you can do whatever you want because this is yours but this is how i make it i'm just stirring it together in a bowl and now our batter is ready and what's really nice about this recipe is it makes a lot of cookies it makes like 24 to 28 cookies, depending on how big you make them. And so I've just got a batter that kind of looks like a bowl of oatmeal. Mm. And now I'm going to just put them on my baking sheet. Look at you, ready. you're so snazzy with gloves. I love that. Well, I feel like that's because I'm gonna use my fingers. And so that's just so I can turn the page if I need to in my book or something. But I'm just oh, using great. like a two tablespoon measure and I'm going to put it on a parchment, um, you can use parchment paper or silicone liner, like I'm using a Silpat or a non-brand name, Silpat, this one's not Silpat, but it's the same idea of a silicone baking mat. And I'm just putting them about two tablespoons in case I needed to, I just thought ahead enough to think, well, I might not want to use my actual fingers here. So I'm just putting these ready to bake into onto this baking sheet. I can get you know, probably eight to 10 on here at a time. I'm not doing anything fancy. I will tell you they don't really spread very much. So if you want them to be flatter, you can use your fingers to kind of, um, you know, flatten them a little bit. Otherwise they'll be kind of more of a, a mound, which is also great. And as I mentioned, they do freeze really well. And I can just tell you these are super delicious and there's nothing in here that would make you feel bad. So um, these are just lovely. And it's actually can be gluten-free if you're making sure your oats are gluten-free as well. And so let's see, we can probably fit one more on here. Well, I think we'll stop right there. And I'm just gonna flatten these a little bit with my okay. my hand, kind of make them sort of round. They I won't do that change too. Very much. And they won't change very much, as I say, they really don't uh, spread much or anything in the, in the um, oven. And then we're going to stick it into the oven at 350 for 20 minutes or so. And this is what they look like before. And I just baked a batch right ahead to show you last night what they look like when they're all done. Ooh. And so we've got these delicious blueberry jam and peanut butter oatmeal cookies. Like what could be bad about that, right? So here they are. And they're soft and chewy and just really, really delicious. They really are good. Go ahead and bite. They look amazing. You should have more than a bite because you haven't had breakfast yet, Missy. Okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> Here we can have breakfast together while we answer people's questions. I like that. <laughs> So I'm yeah. not alone eating. So this is the, the recipe. You can see the picture. It's really awesome. Um, I saw too that you had a couple of um, ice cream recipes, right? I sure do. And what are you making those ice cream in? Are, they're Ninja well, Creamies, aren't they? Or you have so both you can ways. definitely make it in the Ninja Creamy. And I also have another ice cream maker that I've used for many years before they invented the Ninja Creamy, which is made by Breville. But they both work great. And I've used the Ninja Creamy for this, these recipes as well. And they work fantastic in there. So yes, they make two pints. Oh, that's awesome. And Mirren, who is from Australia. Yeah. Let's see if so I can find. I'll show you okay. one of my favorite recipes that I literally have in the freezer at all times is my 
Very vanilla. Mm. Very vanilla. Here's my chocolate cacao ice cream. And oh, that looks really no yummy. Sugar. Oh, so it's, it's date sweetened? Or? It's date sweetened, yep. Mm. With cacao and vanilla, and it's just really, really delicious. And let's see if I can find my vanilla. What's funny about my vanilla ice cream is that it looks almost like my chocolate one because it's also sweetened with dates. Yeah, that so, is one thing. Dates um, will darken the color for sure. Oh, wow. They do. So you... This is very vanilla. Lots oh, of looks... vanilla, lots of dates. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. So those are just a couple of ice. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, Mirren, from, who we found out is from Australia, when she said, what's grits? So she, it's totally valid that she doesn't know what grits are. <laughs> um, That's right. But, and I don't know if they have them in Australia. There may be something else similar. If you... I would not buy a food mill to do this, but if you had a food mill, you could make your own grits. Um, but it said yeah. it looks like an, and I'm going to probably butcher this, Anzac biscuits, which I'm assuming might be something from Australia. If it is, teach me, Marin. I want to learn more. And then Rill um, was asking, can you make these as a bar, these cookies, these PB&J cookies? I'm sure you can. I have only done it in this manner where they're individual cookies, but I'm sure you could do it in, um, you know, like a uh, square pan and then cut them into bars. It would take a little longer to cook. And so you just need to play with the baking time. You could also probably do it in an individual like brownie bites pan where you are cooking them in individual servings rather than you know i mean you could put it in, if you wanted to probably into a muffin pan and just make them shorter as little mini muffin tops type thing um you could also i'm sure um, put it into like a five by seven and make them a little thicker and then just bake it until you like the desired texture but um yeah it's a very flexible recipe because it's just all real food and there's no real magic it's just real ingredients that your body knows what to do with when it comes in knows how to give you energy and make you feel your best i love that and these look so delightful and i love the fact that you were talking about you could make them and put them in the freezer for times yeah. when you're busy and you forget to eat and so i i you went through a couple to eat, and these are so portable right I oh, mean, that's another this, great idea. You can idea. put it into a little lunch. Yeah. And you can make all kinds of variations of this as well, because if you think about any different kind of flavor of um, jam and how that's going to change things, if you used, you know, a cherry or a grape versus a berry like I've used today, you could even add extra berries if you wanted to. And as I said, chocolate chips. You could add nuts. I mean, you can kind of make this your own. And if you were giving this to kids in their lunchbox, I mean, you'll know that they're having something really healthy to snack on. It's a really nice afternoon snack after school. It's really nice in the evening. I have a sweet tooth and that's kind of how I moved into the kind of baking that I do over the many years because I really do like dessert. I do like baking, but I like it simple because I don't like to spend a lot of time as Kathy knows. And so what I do is I'll kind of get ready for something sweet in the evening. And that's why I make sure I've got my healthy ice cream in the freezer or, you know, healthy cookies to grab from the refrigerator or freezer so that when that sweet tooth hits, I've got something to satisfy it that will make me feel good today and tomorrow. Like that's the thing, you know, we want to make choices that we're glad about tomorrow that we did today, not just you know, the moment. So if you can have something handy, it's kind of our way of taking care of ourselves to make sure, because we deserve it, right, Kathy? We deserve yes. it. And, it. and it's hard to sometimes do that. Like I get busy and I forget that I should do things like drink water and eat food. Um, me too. Right? <laughs> I'm like, it, me too. It's because we're not perfect, you know, like we just, we have the same exact Probably all of us in this group that are watching today, we all have the same kind of obstacles and challenges every day because we're busy. We've got thoughts that creep into our head. And that's part of why having things handy that you can rely on that you'll feel good about. It's just kind of how we build habits that make us feel good. 
I love that. And so I have a question from Apple, who is always delightful in putting links for your YouTube up and helping us both out. Oh, so, yeah, thank you, I Apple. Even if you didn't know it, you love Apple too, for sure. Um, has I Vicky do, ever, I do tell. <laughs> has Vicki ever made them with blended beans instead of peanut butter or one of those peanut butter powders? Maybe for people who are looking to, re not, who aren't quite to having nuts or maybe have a nut allergy? Yeah, and that's a fantastic question. I have not made these with beans. I would not know exactly how to kind of do that, except that those of you who do bake with beans would know. Um, but I will say that I thought of this yesterday about using a low fat powder instead of the peanut butter. And you could definitely do that. And I would recommend that you reconstitute it as the label would tell you either almond butter and not, by the way, you know, I call it PB and J, but you could use a different nut butter or you could use sun butter if you are, have a nut allergy, if that would work for you. But yeah, definitely if you're just looking to lower the fat, you could use um, definitely uh, some, you know, peanut powder or almond powder. I'm wondering too, like now that I'm thinking of it, because I did some baking with beans in the, the Great Vegan Bean book. I did not, at that point, PB powder wasn't a big thing. But I wonder if you did like half the amount of water for that amount of powder and just a little bit of beans to tighten it up a little bit more since peanut butter is a little tighter sometimes than the peanut butter powder. Mm -hmm. that, that's my guesstimate, which means I have not done it. But Apple is also super savvy in the kitchen. So I'm sure we will hear back. And so what I will do, I saw that a bunch of people were like, yes, let's have in the heartbeat group, let's have um, a bundle thread. So I'm gonna do that and I'm probably gonna share it. Like Vicki, if you want to send any of your people over there, I'll put it in the, the vegan bundle once I make it, if anybody wants to. And that way all the people who Excellent. make the bundle can have a, I think Chef Julia did a Facebook group for a limited amount of time, but I can leave this open over there and it would be really, really easy. And we could have some other- That sounds great. Us. I'll definitely share this after we're done today. And I'm also thinking another idea, Apple, and anyone else who might want to try this, is you might use the peanut butter and reconstitute it and then add a flax egg. And that would help too, um, meaning, you know, the flax and a little water to kind of help uh, make it all, you know, sort of be cohesive. That's awesome. Um, yeah, Apple said, yeah, I know the answer, but I thought it could be helpful to ask anyways. And you are like Apple is, <laughs> is like the best audience member ever. She posts links. She asks questions. She knows people are going to have like I feel like sometimes she's me and other people's audiences. So I really appreciate <laughs> you all the time. Um, Jill said I get Vicky's emails. It's nice to put a face to the emails. And Vicky Hi, is delightful. So here you go, right? Let's see if there's, um, if you have some other things that you want to talk about or if, if you want to, I, I was noticing one thing in here that I really liked, this mixed berry water. And I think there's also in the bundle this year, there's like the big bonus cookbook. I don't know how many recipes because I haven't looked, but I think over it's over 70. Okay. Over and I have 70. So that on top of everything else. And I think I, I'm trying to remember what I did because it was so long ago, but I'm pretty sure I have a water recipe in there too, because it's starting, I know some places, I think today are supposed to have a snowstorm. So I am sorry, for, but it's like been, it's back into the fifties, but we had a couple of days in the seventies already in North Carolina. This is not normal, but I don't know if weather will ever be yeah. normal again. <laughs> We had, we had, it was 73 and it broke a record two days ago in Michigan. And so this is Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's where I'm from. I'm in the north and we are never in the 70s in February. But, um, and then the next day it fell 50 degrees to the 20s with a wind chill of, nine, of like nine degrees. So it was, you know, we had tornadoes in the state, not near here, fortunately. But yeah, I mean, it's crazy weather. But, you know, I have a hard time remembering to hydrate. And that's kind of why that water idea is a nice one. And it's especially nice when the weather is warm. But to just, uh, it's a really simple way to kind of keep it fresh and, and flavorful and make you a little more tempted to drink water. So that's 
where that comes from. I love that. And, and whenever, like, we're very lucky. So I will say that. So where I live, we live out of the city, so we have a well. So the water is, is kind of nice. We also have a lot of filtration systems and we have to be careful of things because we have a well there. It's a double-edged sword. But um, our water in particular tastes really good. But sometimes if you're just not in the mood or you're just having trouble drinking water, I think adding any kind of fruit, I do it sometimes in the Instant Pot or herbs. I grow several kinds of mints to crush up in there. And also mm. if I make like some Earl Grey tea in the morning and have a cup of tea, I will put just a little bit of tea. And it could be an herbal tea too. We have this blueberry hibiscus tea. And if you don't want to just drink blueberry hibiscus all day because that's a little much, you could just put in a couple of tablespoons too. I do the same thing. I love do that you? combination. And just, yeah, just a little bit because I kind of have a hard time remembering to hydrate, especially when I'm busy, which is when I need it the most. I love the idea of just taking something that kind of makes it a little more obvious to me. So it could be just a splash of, you know, some frozen berries or a little bit of leftover tea or a little bit of, you know, juice, even just a splash, just enough to kind of give it a little bit of interest. And then that kind of reminds me. And as soon as I start drinking, I really usually can drink a lot because I needed it. But um, I just have to remind myself. And so those are ways that help me keep it on my radar. You know, if I keep it on handy on my desk or wherever I'm working, it just helps me. And keeping it colorful makes it just more pleasant. And, and so, see, yeah, I love to I have do a, that. We have fun glasses. So mine has like little witchy stuff on it. And it says like double, uh -huh, double, of course toil it and does. Double, right? <laughs> and so, because yeah. you can't miss it. It's, it's huge. And we yeah. try to carry ours around like, if we're going to do errands, we bring our water into the car. We yeah. try to keep it with us. And while it, it's not always such a problem in the winter, I think sometimes I get dehydrated just from the heat and not thinking about water as much. Another thing yeah. I was noticing in here was your popsicles. Let me see if I can Yes. And I wanted to even say like things like if you don't have an ice cream maker, the ice cream recipes in here you can put in a popsicle mold because before Absolutely. i have and i've done that yes i've done that with leftover you know when it's too much to fit into either the ninja creamy or into the other ice cream maker that i use as well yeah you can just stick them into popsicles and what a like lovely way to just have a couple of a serving or two of something that's super refreshing Super easy. You're probably noticing, Kathy, as you look through that, that there's very few recipes that have more than a handful of ingredients. They're all almost all really simple. Um, yeah. And then, you know, a couple that are maybe a little bit more if there's like a topping in addition to a cupcake or something like that. But for the most um, part, they're all really one bowl. They're, they're very simple, like even the summer strawberry peach crisp, which sounds delightful. It's, you know, the filling is just just the fruit stuff and then the crisp topping is very few ingredients as well and all of them are things you would have i th most people would have i guess i shouldn't say you personally because someone's going to say i never have that but i just like all the things you've got some drinks <laughs> you've got some sauces you've got some little cakes it's cheryl's birthday so like i was kind of upset because last year when they announced when the bundle was i was like that's cheryl's birthday week her birthday's on monday so I was looking through yours and I was like, because she loves chocolate and you definitely have a lot of chocolate cake stuff. So what there's would you a lot recommend? Of chocolate. I will say there's a lot of chocolate and this is what I'm going to recommend for the birthday dessert is Black, Ooh, Black Forest, Forest Cup Cupcakes and it's on page 65. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's look at that. And even that one is really easy. And since Cheryl, so for those of you who may not know, so again, the Black Forest cupcakes, if she's not a big fan of fresh cherries, I could probably just change that out for something. Definitely. You want to know what? I use frozen cherries in this, but um, I will say that you can leave that off because it's the, the, the there's no Oh, it's just the topping. The yeah, it's just topping. It's just a chocolate cupcake and the chocolate <laughs> cupcake. I just, it's to die for. It's the best cup cupcake ever. I love That's awesome. I don't, I don't know if you guys could hear. Cheryl is in the other room and she went, 
because I said you can leave the chairs like good. <laughs> is what she yeah, said. Yeah, just make the chocolate cupcake. Does she like chocolate cupcakes? Oh, she loves chocolate cupcakes, and it's chocolate frosting. Yeah. See, I was thinking it would probably be a chocolate cherry frosting because what happens is Cheryl gets mad at me because I am I don't dislike chocolate, but I'm not the biggest chocolate fan and. From where I can have gluten sometimes now since I did the starch solution in small amounts, mm. whereas before, there were years I could have no gluten. And the mm. only thing that you ever find out that's vegan and gluten free is chocolate. So I've had no other <laughs> options for years and years and years. So, but like if I make brownies, I want to put orange zest in it, I want to put peppermint, I want to lavender, lavender well, chocolate I have chip a peppermint cupcake. Yes, they have peppermint cupcakes in here too, which I make at Christmas time. Ooh. My birthday's oh, in December, yeah. and so these are my birthday cupcakes a lot of times. But I will say that these are gluten free. It's the same basic cupcakes, slightly different with peppermint extract in it. But um, I will say both of these cupcakes are gluten free. And then you can add a chocolate frosting or leave the frosting off and just enjoy it with whatever way that you like to top it if you don't like a lot of chocolate. Oh, I love and that. A caramel caramel sauce in here too that maybe you could use on top instead of the chocolate oh that sounds good um these look great and so cheryl's going to be super excited so um i'll talk to you later but i, I may be making one of those and we can show because we're gonna i thought we would just at least talk about cheryl's birthday and maybe show some of the stuff that we might be having later we're also having stacy cross on at one o'clock on, on her Excellent. birthday so there's so many people. I don't know how I remember that one, but I do. But this yeah. looks great. And I am I am like a freehand dessert person, so it's nice with with um, cakes and things like that for me to have some things to look at. Oh, wait, what did I just see? Did I see something that said sticky toffee, spiced toffee pecan cookies? Oh, my goodness. Yes. I see They're that? really good. Oh. <gasps> Okay, those look delightful. Well, you'll have to try a couple and you let me know what you think. And I hope Cheryl finds something that she likes for her birthday in there as well. And um, I'd love to hear how it goes. Oh, that's great. And um, thank you so much for coming on and being on early and going through all the, uh, the bundle extravaganza. If you guys have some questions about the bundle or if you're just like, I don't get it, First, try to go to the site. You can go to the site and just look around and back right out. It's okay, right? So then you yeah. can really see, because I, even over all the stuff I'm doing, I probably won't be able to explain every single thing that's in the bundle. But just go and look around. And then if you have some questions after, feel free to, do, to, to put it, pop it up in any of the lives. So if Vicki's going live and you see her on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere, you can ask there, you can ask me, you can ask all kinds of people because it's going to be a live community event happening <laughs> for the next 10 days, right? I think that's right. That's absolutely right. Yes, you'll find us everywhere. I'll be live every day. Um, not as often as you will be, Kathy. I'm not doing 30 of them, but I'll be <laughs> at least a dozen. You'll see me on and off on every platform, but um, yeah, please, please join us. Please um, ask questions, uh, share your thoughts. And um, we're here to help um, make all of this possible because at the end of the 10 days, it really does disperse back out and all this $8,000 worth of stuff goes back to its owners. Um, it's just being collaborated on together as a community for this 10 days, and then everything will separate back out and um, it's only available then. And then, you know, next year, there'll be a different offering of a different Type, but this is a one-time only opportunity to get this particular collection called a bundle of digital products that are made by all kinds of experts around the world. So it's pretty cool stuff. And even Vicki or me or Chef AJ, no one can sell the bundle. So when you're at, it's 12.03 on Pacific time, you know, so it's now it's March 11th in California done you can't go back and get it so there's a lot of noise that goes yeah. on the reason i like to go live so much and i'll be emailing every day and things like that i'll get for those of you who bought the bundle today already don't worry i'm going to give you some value in the email if you've already bought the bundle or you've decided you don't want the bundle 
So you, you're not being left out and you can get so much value if, if you're in a position where you can't afford the bundle or something else. Watch the lives, learn about these new to you people and there's so much free goodness and advice and recipes and just yeah. so much stuff that you have available to you. So there's two things. One, if you're going to get the bundle, just go ahead and get the bundle. Just get it, don't think about it, then enjoy it and watch all the things. I know everybody either buys it today or they buy it the last day and then every year I get a bunch of emails saying, can I really get it anyhow? Because you guys know I'm a softie, but I have nothing to do with it. So that's why I'm telling you, I, I cannot do it. So if that's you wanna right. do it, just just go ahead and do it. Let it. That way you can look through some of the things and maybe even you can have Dell's cookbook open when Dell is live, and then you can ask him some stuff right about that ebook. So my encouragement is if you know you're going to get it, go ahead and get it. Would you add anything I, to that? I agree with that. I to totally agree. Start enjoying it now. You'll be kind of, you know, getting a jump start on all of what is available to you so that you can really just enjoy taking a look at everything. There's so much, it's, it, you know, we keep using these um, superlatives it's because it's like it's so hard to describe how much is there because there's there's over a hundred things that are available for people to look at but it is really true that um, every single year I get emails from people saying oh I didn't realize the bundle was ending or I didn't hear anything about it I haven't been online for a while I didn't haven't opened my email you know can I still get it and like it breaks my heart that I have to say no because we're working very hard to make sure people at least know about it. And that's really all we ask is that you take a look because you can decide if it feels like a good fit to you once you look, but just look because it's a very impressive display. And Kathy and I don't have anything to do with the back end, so we can't control offering it after um, you know, midnight on Sunday, but uh, the, Sunday the 10th, but, um, and that's why we really urge you to just take a peek. That's all we ask. Yeah, and don't forget too, if you're like, well, cookbooks aren't my thing. It's not just cookbooks. There are cookbooks, there's yoga stuff. Um, Darina Burton is doing her fascia stuff is in there as well as some of her cookbooks. You know, Dr. Menopause Ray information, right? For so yeah. many people that this is helpful. Um, <laughs> and fitness stuff and, um, and all kinds of advocacy stuff. Melanie Joy, um, there's so much stuff beyond just recipes. There's thousands of recipes and cookbooks and videos and presentations and courses, but there's so much more than we can even, you know, describe because there's, there's coupons, there's stuff, you know. Like Joy, I, mean, I think has a coupon in there. There's a couple of other things that have coupons. I'll have, I will show you guys all the things. Like I'm a little distracted from every, I'm trying to rem remember what, like Broccoli Mom's cookbook is in the bundle. Yes. So if you yes. guys have been like, Oh, I don't know. I've been meaning to get Broccoli Mom's cookbook and I have it, which is Indian food. It's delightful. I'm super yes. excited about that. Chef Julia has another cookbook in it. And we all love Chef Julia and her recipes. Right. Right. And I think the Japanese Chef, recipes. Yeah. And she's, she's just so good at things like that. And I believe Chef AJ has some, um, of her awesome healthy desserts and you know, her dessert cookbook her new one is for pre-order so this is a way for you to get a little sneak peek in there so there's just tons of stuff so again look and then if you go and look if you don't see anything that's interesting to you great um cheryl and i did thriving on starch so everybody's been asking us we want a book about kind of the story of what happened in the 12-day program it's a little bit dumbed down of how to eat starch solution and and it has like 29 recipes that are all starch solution approved there's a an intro from heather mcdougall and there's also a little um, note from stacy cross and so i know that's something you guys have wanted for a long time so we got that in there too and cheryl and i'll be answering some questions about that oh what just happened i think i think um the it just automatically did that yeah can I do it? Uh, mine doesn't do it. That's amazing. I've never seen that before. 
Okay, so yeah. you've given me my like Disney magic delight for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for all the great information, this amazing book, and just being you because I just adore you. And I just, oh, get so Kathy, excited. I just adore you. I'm so, so happy to kick off Bundle Week with you. It's like kind of a dream come true. It's just, I wish I could talk with you every day and um, all day long because it's just it's such a joy. I am oh. a huge, huge fan. Oh, and I go no. way, way back, huge, huge fan. You know, for those people who might not have seen me on your show before, um, I was once one of your testers for, uh, actually twice for your cookbooks. And that's how we kind of had a chance to, to meet. So, you know, long, long time ago, 10 years ago or more. Well, so. and you have a recipe in my Ninja Creamy ebook and... Since we're public, I'm going to go ahead and say I am going to be doing another Ninja Creamy ebook this year. And if you would be interested in contributing a recipe, I would love it. I so would be honored. Uh, take that as a big yes. Absolutely. Okay. okay, so I'll talk more about that with you as well. Do you have anything yeah. else you want to say to all the nice people before we go? I just want to say thank you for joining us. Please enjoy the excitement of Bundle Week with us. Uh, join us in our additional lives and please connect with me on Ann Arbor Vegan Kitchen. I have a contact page uh, as well. And if you have any questions at any time, now we're friends for life. Just send me a question. <laughs> I'll answer it to the best I can and look forward to connecting with you all again soon. And Vicki, you're like me with that. Like we both are the, she really means it. So you can ask her yeah. questions. I know you guys are used to, to emailing me and asking me questions too. And I just yeah. want to say thank you guys so much for showing up. There is a tiny possibility my one o'clock Lisa Rice was not feeling well yesterday. So I might just come on and chat and show you some things from the bundle. So just know that live could get switched. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for just being such a wonderful community and um, go over into Heartbeat. And if you guys are like new here and you don't know what Heartbeat is, it's just off of Facebook. Cause, so I have a decent amount of people in the Facebook group and do you know how many, I, there's almost 10,000 people in there. How many people do you think see something? Less than 200. So that's why mm -hmm. I made the, the Facebook group or the Heartbeat group, you guys can go in and ask questions and talk to each other and see the things. That's all I'm looking for. I just want you to see the things that are there for you to choose from. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if you have that problem at all, Vicki, with some of your You know, stuff. I think that that's just very, very common that people just kind of scroll and look through but don't necessarily engage. Well, we want you to engage. Please share your thoughts, ask your questions, help each other. Um, you know, we're, that's what, what we, Kathy and I get up in every day for is to kind mm -hmm. of, you know, be of service and help share our ideas and um, help other people transition to a healthy lifestyle. So, you know, that's part of why we're so excited about this, because that's what this does is sort of help spread the word of healthy eating in ways that you can make this doable in your own kitchen. So, um, yeah, we we love this stuff. And I love you, Kathy, so much. Oh, and so I thank love you for you too, having Vicky. me. What a great way to start the day and um, look forward to connecting with you again soon. That's awesome. And everybody, I'm going to be finishing my breakfast. I'm going to be, I'm going to make you help me be accountable to eat this week. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I don't, I don't know Good how job. I've gotten into that, but um, so I'm going to finish my breakfast when I get off. If you guys haven't eaten breakfast yet or you're watching this in the replay and maybe you haven't had lunch or maybe you've gone too far from dinner, let's think about eating something eating something healthy. If you don't have something easy in your fridge, think about making up some brown rice or cooking some potatoes and pop those in there, okay? And I want you guys to have just the very best day. I'm going to be live three more times today. So I've got that whole list in the Heartbeat group. You can scroll through and see it on Facebook. It is probably more places than you ever wanted to see how many times I'm going live but have the very best rest of your day. And some of you I will see again in a couple of hours, okay? All right, bye. Bye-bye.